With every discovery that experts make in the vast expanses of space, we add another revealing piece of the mosaic to the overall picture of the cosmos. While many galactic discoveries help to raise our understanding of the universe to completely new levels, other discoveries in the firmament are like huge mysteries. After researchers succeeded in identifying the first object of interstellar origin in the solar system, a few years ago, the initial euphoria quickly gave way to some big questions for experts. Soon, a few key issues began to loom large in the minds of scientists. What is the trace structure in detail? Might it possibly have an artificial origin? Today we'll discuss what we have been able to find out since the discovery of this interstellar visitor and what mysteries remain to be unraveled. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and fascinating spectacles in space on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on by giving us a thumbs up. You're showing us that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our videos. An Interstellar Visitor it is October 19th, 2017, when an absolute milestone is added to the list of astronomical discoveries. With the help of the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii, researchers managed for the first time in history to identify an object within our native solar system that was classified as interstellar. As the name suggests, interstellar objects are astronomical entities that originate in interstellar space and are not gravitationally bound to a central star. However, this term is also used for those objects, which are on an interstellar trajectory but temporarily pass into the immediate vicinity of a star. This was also the case with the exciting body discovered in Hawaii, which was to receive the official designation Oumuamua. However, by the time the object was added to the star charts, it had already passed our sun and was already on its way back into interstellar space. The first investigation of the orbital properties initially suggested that Oumuamua would be an ordinary comet. However, this assumption was soon soon overshadowed by big question marks. Because actually, with a closer look, the structure possessed no comet typical tail. But this would not remain the only riddle to follow this exciting discovery. The Trajectory on the Test Bench First, the experts had to take a closer look at the trajectory of this exciting object and reconstruct its possible origin. What was certain was that Oumuamua plunged into the solar system almost perpendicular to the orbital planes of the planets. Then, in early September 2017, the body had passed the ecliptic plane, the apparent orbit that the sun traces in the sky. Using this information, experts were able to calculate that Oumuamua had bumped towards us from the direction of the constellation Lyra, not far from the main star Vega. The object finally reached its observed maximum velocity on September 9, when it passed through the apex of its orbit at a speed of more than 45 miles per second, approaching within 23 million miles of the sun. A little over a month later, Oumuamua made close contact with our blue home planet. The closest distance between the object and us was about 14 million miles, which is about 60 times the distance between the moon and Earth. But then it was time for the exciting object to take its leave. With gradually decreasing speed, Oumuamua took course in the direction of the constellation Pegasus, so that it is currently moving further and further away from our home solar system. But already, the analysis of the trajectory caused raised eyebrows among the ranks of experts. Experts. The deceleration the structure ran through on its flight in the direction of the sun was somewhat smaller than it would have been under the influence of gravity alone. One theory tried to explain the additional acceleration with the outgassing of volatile materials. However, this process would most likely have set in motion an enormous effect on the body's rotation, but no such change could be detected. A Mysterious Object in order to determine what Oumuamua was actually about, the ominous structure was viewed by several modern telescopes. The unusually intense brightness fluctuations that were registered in the course of this suggested that the object had a cigar-like shape. However, the extreme brightness changes could not be explained by the rotation period of the body. 
Consequently, it seemed that Oumuamua is not rotating around one of its axes, but literally tumbling through space. The fact that no dust particles were found in the immediate vicinity of the body led the scientists to the conclusion that the mysterious body does not contain water and is probably composed mainly of rock or metal. Assuming that Oumuamua has become exceedingly dark as a result of unchecked bombardment with cosmic rays over millions of years, scientists suspect a very low albedo. Specifically, the albedo is estimated at a value of 0.04. However, this is only a theoretical number that has not been directly proven. If the assumed albedo is correct, Oumuamua would have an average diameter of about 600 feet. What the experts do know, however, is that the surface of the structure has a reddish tinge which is attributed to the existence of organic matter. After Oumuamua was categorized as an asteroid a few days after its discovery, it's now again considered more likely that it's a comet after all. But these are still by far not all the theses proposed in the field. So some researchers pursued the approach that the body could be composed of frozen hydrogen, an exciting theory which turned out improbable due to further investigations. The possibility that Oumuamua could represent in truth a stick material ice fragment of a distant planet is discussed likewise in the ranks of experts. Equally, the most exciting as well as most controversial explanation approach departs from the idea that the mysterious structure is not at all a natural body, but the work of an advanced extraterrestrial species. An extraterrestrial spaceship? The unusual cigar-shaped form of Oumuamua alone fed the first speculations that it could actually be an extraterrestrial spaceship. This theory was then further fueled by the thoughts theoretical physicist Avi Loeb and Shmuel Bialy brought into the field. The two researchers came in the course of their work to the conclusion that the registered orbit deviation, which could not be explained by gravity, as well as the missing dust development, agree very well with the assumed characteristics of a very thin structure, pushed by the radiation pressure of our host star from its course. Consequently, it would be conceivable that the corresponding structure in truth embodies a complex solar sail, which was sent on its way into space by an extraterrestrial civilization. The rest of the expert world also became aware of this exciting thesis that Oumuamua was artificially created. To get to the bottom of this exciting hypothesis, the radio telescope at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia was pointed directly at the interstellar visitor. Through this endeavor, scientists hoped to possibly obtain signals that would indeed suggest an artificial origin for the object. Although it was considered exceedingly unlikely in advance that artificially generated signals from an extraterrestrial species would be found, the researchers saw their work as a worthwhile and unique opportunity. So Oumuamua was studied in detail over a period of 14 days. The evaluation of the collected data finally delivered the sobering realization that no signals were found that would point to an artificial background. In order to uncover the identity of this cosmic mystery, the experts are currently playing with the idea of simply turning the galactic tables. Now that Oumuamua has moved close to our blue home planet, it is now time for us to pay the entity a visit. On the trail of a secret However, it's anything but easy for spacecraft of our time to intercept Oumuamua. For example, the hyperbolic excess velocity of the object is given at about 16 miles per second. By comparison, Voyager 1, the spacecraft with the highest current hyperbolic excess velocity, reaches only 10 miles per second. However, a sophisticated maneuver could still make it possible for us to reach this structure one day. The ignition of a solid fuel engine would literally shoot the probe out of the solar system. In this way, it would be possible to reach Oumuamua about 16 years after the launch of the spacecraft. However, the experts' ideas are still far from being put into practice. So when and if we will get to the bottom of the Oumuamua mystery is still literally written in the stars. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the exciting interstellar visitor that is accompanied by so many questions. Write us your comments, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. In the mood for more exciting videos about the most mysterious objects in space? Then take a look at the other contributions on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.